I think I'm very well prepared. I don't think I have to prepare very much. I think I've been preparing for the summit for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you're enjoying this flight to Singapore. We just want to let you know that the latest news updates are available via our in-flight entertainment system. Hello and welcome to TRT World with me, Shuli Ghosh. We hope you're enjoying your flight. Let's bring you up to date with what's going on in the world. As we go to air, Donald Trump is travelling to Singapore in what analysts are calling an unprecedented meeting with North Korea's Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. It's been a bumpy road and this meeting was by no means a certainty. Let's take a look back at the journey to this historic summit. The president has accepted an invitation to meet with the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. I think they want to make peace. I think it's time. Kim Jong-un says he will suspend nuclear and long-range missile tests and shut down a nuclear test site. It'd be very easy for me to make a simple deal and claim victory. I don't want to do that. I want them to get rid of their nukes. And just moments ago, President Trump announced that he will meet with Kim Jong-un in Singapore on June 12th. Is it a requirement that Kim Jong-un agree to give away those weapons before uh, you give any kind of concession? I think that's right. I think we're looking at the Libya model of 2003, 2004. Bolton bringing up Libya is literally the worst thing he could have said in this situation. The North Koreans called his vice president a political dummy. Um, they talked about their feelings of repugnance for John Bolton, Mr. Trump's national security advisor. Based on the recent statement of North Korea, I have decided to terminate the planned summit in Singapore on June 12th. Well, Kim Jong-un got back on his hands and knees and begged for it. After meeting with Kim Jong-un's top aide inside the Oval Office, the president declared the June 12th summit officially back on. It's a one-time shot, and I think it's going to work out very well. It cannot be overstated. The fate of world peace is at stake. Fortunately, the man who wrote The Art of the Deal is representing the free world at this summit. So, good luck, Mr. Trump. The planet is counting on you. Don't let us down. President Trump and North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un finished an unprecedented meeting in Singapore with a deal to start denuclearizing the Korean Peninsula. It's beyond all expectations and it really is history in the making. The past does not have to define the future. Yesterday's conflict does not have to be tomorrow's war.